Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to build a simple yet effective IGBT and MOSFET tester. Using just few basic components, this tester will help us check if our transistor is working properly or if it is shorted. Plus we can measure gate voltages. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. Now let's understand how this tester works. Here is how our tester works. We connect the IGBT or MOSFET to the circuit using a dedicated connector. When we press push button, we begin controlling the gate voltage with potentiometer. As we slowly increase gate voltage, the transistor begins to turn on. When the transistor starts conducting slightly, the green LED will glow dimly while the red LED remains on. As we continue increasing the voltage, the transistor fully turns on, the green LED glows brightly and the red LED turns off. If the transistor is shorted, the green LED will turn on fully right away even with no voltage at the gate and the red LED will stay off. This indicates a faulty transistor. To build this tester, we'll need these components, a digital voltmeter to measure gate voltage, a red and green LED for visual indication, a potentiometer to control gate voltage, 1N4148 diode, a push button, a 10 microfarad capacitor, 220 ohm resistor, 2.2K resistor, 10K resistor, a 2 pin terminal block, a 3 pin terminal block, 3 pin female header, pref board, and some jumper wires. First connect a 2 pin terminal block. Now connect a 50k potentiometer and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 1 of the 2 pin terminal block and its pin number 3 to pin number 2 of the 2 pin terminal block. Now connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin number 2 of the potentiometer and its negative pin to pin number 1 of the potentiometer. Now connect the voltmeter and connect its VCC pin to pin number 2 of the 2 pin terminal block and its ground pin to pin number 1 of the 2 pin terminal block. Now connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its pin number 1 to V in pin of the voltmeter and its pin number 3 to pin number 1 of the 2 pin terminal block. Now connect 3 pin header and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 1 of the 3 pin terminal block, its pin number 2 to pin number 2 of the 3 pin terminal block and its pin number 3 to pin number 3 of the 3-pin terminal block. Now connect a 10K resistor and connect its 1-pin to pin number 1 of the 3-pin terminal block and its other pin to pin number 3 of the 3-pin terminal block. Now connect a 220-ohm resistor and connect its 1-pin to pin number 2 of the 2-pin terminal block. Now connect the green LED and connect its anode to remaining pin of the 220-ohm resistor and its cathode to pin number 2 of the 3-pin terminal block. Now connect a 2.2K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the 2 pin terminal block. Now connect the red LED and connect its anode to remaining pin of 2.2K resistor and its cathode to pin number 3 of the 3 pin terminal block. Now connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to pin number 2 of the 3 pin terminal block and its anode to anode of the red LED. Now connect the push button and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the potentiometer and its other pin to pin number 1 of the 3-pin terminal block. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's test the project.
And there you have it, a simple but powerful IGBT and MOSFET tester. Using just a few components, this tool can save a lot of time when diagnosing faulty transistors. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more electronic projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.